In this video, I'll show you how this playlist was created, which features a bar of rhythm followed by a bar of rest, and then the same bar of rhythm with voice counting followed by a bar of rest. Sounds like this. One, and three, and four. And the idea is that you would clap in the bar of rest. One, two, and three, and four. So let's take a look at the playlist. You can see there are 22 exercises in here. So I'm going to go to the bottom exercise and show you how I would add an extra one to this. So we'll swipe back to the main page and I'm going to zoom this out a little bit so you can pinch to zoom the notation so that we can see it all on the screen. And I'm going to edit this by tapping on the rhythm and choosing edit pattern. And you will see in here that we have the bar of rhythm followed by the bar of rest. And in line two, we have rests assigned to the whole of the first bar. And then in the second bar, we have the counting. And if I tap on line two, you'll see that that rhythm is looped. And so it takes the counting into account. And you can see down here, I'm using the counting panel. So you'll probably normally see the sound buttons page when you're adding sounds. And the counting panel is accessed by tapping where it says sound buttons and choosing counting. So I'm going to clear this rhythm and show you how I created it from scratch. All I did was enter four beats worth of 16th notes and then one bars worth of rest. That's the starting point. And then we want to remove some of these notes. So I select a note group and tap on edit and take out some of the notes to give us an interesting bar of rhythm. And now we want to assign voice counting to these notes. And I'm going to do that on line two. And there's a reason for that, which I'll explain a little bit later. And to automatically assign the voice counting, just tap on the lightning bolt in the middle. And you'll see that that applies the correct counting to these notes. And then we just want to add rests so that the first repeat doesn't have the voice counting. So the underscore is adding silence to those notes. And then the voice counting happens in bar two. So I'll hit done. And then I want to save this as a new example in the playlist. So I'll tap on the plus, save as, call it exercise 23 and save to playlist. If you tap save here, it will be added to the presets library if you tap save to playlist, it gets added just to the end of the playlist. So let's create one more example very quickly. I'll go and edit. And this time I don't need to delete everything. I can just tap edit here and modify the rhythm. Like that. And then the sounds I will need to create again. So I'm going to tap and hold the delete button to clear all the sounds, tap on the lightning bolt, and then again, tap the underscore for the whole of bar one. And finally save as a new name and save it to the playlist. And it sounds like this. And then on the repeat, we get the voice. One. Now, if you wanted to play through this playlist and not have the voice in there, you can do that by setting these to play one rep instead of two reps. If you scroll to the bottom, the playlist time row allows you to set reps for everything at once, and you can access the same page by tapping on this clock. So we'll choose set all reps to one, and now we'll just have the rhythm and you can clap here and then we'll move on to the next exercise. And then you might get used to the order of this rhythm. So if you want to mix it up to give you a different set of exercises to play, you can simply tap on the playlist name, choose shuffle playlist, and that will mix up the order of the exercises. So basically you have a pretty much infinite number of combinations of rhythms that you can use to practice 
your listening and repeating or your reading skills.